Hello guys, welcome to another day in Valdivia, Chile and today is a more relaxing day we're only gonna go outside for a few hours to explore the riverside in Valdivia and some days we just don't do as much and we focus more on the computer work and editing So Valdivia is the most famous for the strongest earthquake ever recorded on 22nd May 1960 with a magnitude of 9.4 to 9.6 So this area around Valdivia it's called Los Rios or rivers because there are so many rivers here and the area around Pucón was called Los Lagos because there are many lakes over there. So here I'm trying the temperature of the river and surprisingly it was pretty warm it was actually warmer than the ocean yesterday and I think it has to do something with the fact that there is a cold current in the ocean and the river is naturally warm from the air and it's even good for swimming here but I don't think it's allowed to swim here Here we saw a boat, eco-friendly boat powered by solar panels on the roof. So we're asking why is not everything powered by solar? And I think it's mostly the initial costs is much higher than to buy gasoline powered things. And also efficiency, like this boat is going much slower. But I think the future is the solar and wind powered things. It's much cleaner, much better for the environment and not contributing to the climate change. And then we saw this uh, water bicycle, so I never seen this, it was like a bicycle attached to the tubes on the water and usually you see those for sitting and that's when I was working at the lake in Slovakia, I was renting those water bicycles but never seen anything like this and it must be fun but they only had a little area to go around so they couldn't explore the whole river. Here we are already close to the city center and the bridge and we spotted some more sea lions here. So as I said before, I think they're here because there is a fish market near and people are kind of feeding them so they don't have to catch the fish themselves. You can see there is a fence between the pathway and the river because the sea lions can be dangerous sometimes especially if people try to pet them or get close to them or feed them and same things like in monkeys in Thailand they can uh, bite and also because of the dogs they would try to bark at the sea lions. platform where they usually lay down 
and it's close to the fish market and they also on the other side where we saw them before. can see the alpha male sea lion and you can see it's much heavier and bigger and with a thicker neck than the rest of them and really looks like a lion and it's controlling the group. So we came to Valdivia mainly to enjoy the sea lions, but it's nothing like the experience in Galapagos. You can only see them here like this and you can't really get close to them or swim with them. So it's totally different, so the Galapagos is the place to experience the sea lions. And there's gonna be more vlogs from Valdivia, so stay tuned for those. And as always, stay healthy and stay adventurous!